Hey, welcome to my showcase for the VR gesture recognizer. I'm Atlas and today I'm going to show you how basically the system works and what you can expect from this. Uh, um, first off, of course, what can it do? What does it do? What can I do with it? What can you do with it? Uh, the gesture recognizer, the VR gesture recognizer is a tool for Unity VR where uh, you can record and playback gestures for um, functions in games. And with playback, I mean um, the system uses a backpropagation neural network, big word, I'm sorry, but um, what it means is that it's a system that learns from your input. So the system has a backpropagation neural network that will take in your gesture. So let's say we want to fire a fireball. We do a little H shape with our hands and that's our gesture. The neural network will take this input, bring it through its little system, and then will recognize that input once you do it again. So that's the teaching method. Um, this way we teach the neural network the gesture and if I do the gesture then again it's going to recognize that I did basically the same gesture. Uh, simple but cool. And as a little demo I have here I think a fireball. So um, I'll show you a little bit simply how it works. Now first of all what you do need to know is that the gesture recognizer will not just teach in one go. You can't just teach it one gesture and think that's gonna be it. Because it, sadly it's not. You're going to have to teach it multiple times. Because it's a backpropagation neural network. It needs different uh, possibilities for you to do the same gesture. So let's say we want to fire a fireball. I'm going to do the 8 move. And there we go. As you can see these lines are my debug lines that, you, that debug my movements. Now I taught it once. Now we want to teach it again, just to be sure. So I'm going to teach it once more. There we go. It was a little bit different, so the ring changed. But it's still, that's good for the neural network. Now if I do that movement again, but I'm going to test the gesture recognized. So I'm not going to give it input like, oh, this is the output. No, I'm going to ask, all right, what do you think this is? It, this is. So we're going to test. And lo and behold, it thought that it found a gesture and it fired a fireball. Now I'm going to remove these lines real quick. And I'll showcase you the system. Uh, I'm going to remove these. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is not edited, by the way, as you can see. <laughs> I don't like editing. And I think this is more personal. I like personal explanations. Now, I'll grab my hands again. And as you can see here, uh, right over there, there's the gesture recognizer... Uh, script. This is the most important script. That's basically the only script next to uh, these scripts, the point trackers. The point trackers you put on anything you want to track a behavior with. Right now it's both my hands, but what if you want to have a full body tracking? Well, then you can put these point trackers on your full body points, so the midriff and the two are legs, and that's it. The system will still work the same. Um, and this is the bit this is the biggest script the gesture recognizer the gesture recognizer as simply put takes in uh, your functions you want to call um, once you do a gesture and it will output them once you do them correctly so as you saw before I did the 8 and it fired a fireball correctly the fireball is put in here with a simple unity uh, event uh, down here is where you input the point trackers. Right now we have two point trackers. And all of these rest of the variables are going to go be explained in the next couple of videos. But right now I just want to go over with what can you do with this? Well, what if you want to make a mage game? Like you want the player to fire fireballs or light up electricity just with like the movements of their hands. That is what this is for. But what this could also be used for is like an exercise game. You want the player to do jumping jacks correctly, and if it does it correctly, then you give them a reward. Or you want them to do squats correctly, then you give them a, a reward too, if the gesture recognizes that you did it. All of these are handy for movements that cannot always be the same. You cannot always have the same input, but you can have the gesture recognizer recognize that, oh, 
you did your best that you tried to do this movement. I think you tried to do this movement, so I'm going to activate this function. And that's what this system is all about. It's about learning, com learning computers, <laughs> deep learning, machine learning. That's the word I'm trying to go for. <laughs> and um, that's basically what you can use for. There's many different ways you can use the system. But I recommend just trying, give, trying it out yourself and going through these ne next couple of videos, trying to understand how it works. I will go into explaining how neural networks work. I will go into explaining how the gesture recognizer, all those values you saw before work. And I'm going to try to go into um, what you can do with it a little bit. And um, how to, oh, also how the scripts work behind the, behind the scenes. That would be interesting too. So um, please join me in this little adventure in neural networks and backpropagation neural networks. And I hope you will be ex as much excited as I am through what this gesture recognizer can do for future VR games. So without any further ado, thank you for watching. Bye.